Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on how to implement uh, force feedback for the shooting. So I have connected my Xbox controller uh, to the computer and I'm at the moment I'm controlling with the controller and when I shoot I get a force feedback effect or a, a light rumble effect on my controller. So that's what we are going to work on today how to play a force feedback or a rumble effect on the controller okay uh, let's start with a new project here I'm going to use the first person template mm. so I'll name the project rumble test I don't need any of the starter content so anything I'll keep the project in blueprint and create okay so if here I think the controller settings are already defined you can see that here under Oh, this is usually we saw it and there is a notice axis and action weapons are now replicated and please use enhanced input actions and input mapping context instead all right what well, that is let's see let's go to all settings and enhanced input all right so here we have default editor input class default player input class default input component okay let's see what this uh, uh, can't open it why it should be pointing to something in the engine All right, but that doesn't matter. Let's just see if the uh, controller inputs are working by playing. I have already connected my controller. So yeah, this is actually using the controller. I can equip, look up and down with the right thumbstick and move with left thumbstick. So yeah, the controller inputs are working definitely so yeah today our focus is to learn how to uh, create rumble effect so let's just leave this note actually I didn't notice that before so let's just leave that for another day all right so to get rumble effect up and running well actually force feedback that's the proper name yeah, but rumble both so we have to um, oh there we have those input mappings oh yeah okay nice see the gamepad trigger all those things are here okay that's fine so here uh, let's create a force feedback effect I'll call it FF stands for FFE stands for force feedback or maybe just force feedback is enough FF shooting Let's open it. This is actually quite simple. Uh, here we can define which sides to make the rumble effect. So here if I press shift and right click a uh, left click we can add a key.
Okay. Right now, let's make this uh, auto so we can get a smoothness effect like this. Okay, so the rumble effect it starts in 0.1 seconds and basically stops in 0.3 seconds. So we can fine tune those details later on, but let's just see if this works. Let's just see how to play this force feedback effect. Oh, if I play this, do I feel it in the controller? Let's see. I do. I can, I have no way of showing it, but I can feel it in my controller, definitely. Right. Now, how do we play this? Uh, let's go to, let's check rifle, blueprint. I think that's where we have implemented the shooting. Oh, it's not here. Fine, let's see. First person character. It's not here either. Uh, Alright, then it should be definitely here in weapon component. Okay. Ah, right. So this is the shoot. Shoot function. Okay. So this is where we play fire and sound. And yeah, definitely this is where we need to play the force feedback. So. Force feedback. Okay, uh, it's not here. Okay, let's get player controller reference. Play client play force feedback. Play dynamic force feedback. Let's just use this one. Play a force feedback pattern on player's controller. That's the one we need to use and we only have one force feedback. We don't need to loop. We don't need attack for the moment. Let's play and see if this works. Yeah, it is definitely working. I can feel it in my hands. Okay, that's simple. And I also noticed uh, there is another Force feedback attenuation. Wrapper class that can be created as an asset to say asset for force feedback attenuation properties, which allows reuse. Okay. Uh, no, I don't see a place to use that here. I was hoping that is actually something we can use to like when the player is closer to some object for example let's say an explosion uh, we should feel a higher uh, force feedback if we are more away from the explosion we should feel a lower force feedback but i'm not really seeing any place to define that here so i should further investigate on that part here also we don't really have any other options mm. let's see play dynamic force feedback no there also nothing ah but here we can directly set through the function to play left play right Okay, actually here we can do something like that. For example, based on the distance, we can change the intensity. But yeah, I'll just leave that for now. And this is how you play force feedback. So thanks for watching. If you want to check out my other projects I have worked on, you can 
check my patreon page for all the project downloads and see you in another episode goodbye